Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to merge or combine two arrays into a single array in Java. So let's get started. So first let me declare the two arrays. Let int a be the first array. Let it have some values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and let int b be the second array and let it have some values like 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So we will be using an another array which is the third array to store the combined both these arrays. Alright. So before that we need to get the length of each array. So let me come to the next line. So int al be the length of the first array equal to a dot length. So we will be having this length which is an inbuilt function and the next is going to be the length of array b. So int bl equal to array name b dot length. And next thing we need to like define the length of the resultant array which is c. So for that what we will do is int cl be the length of the resultant array equal to al plus bl alright. So the third array will have these many elements alright. So which is basically going to be equal to the sum of array length of a and sum of array length of b. So which is going to be 10 in this case. So for that we need to do this way. And we need to also create the third array all right because we are in we don't know the elements at first itself so we need to like initialize that particular array with the size so that's why we need to do this particular step i hope that made sense so int let me name the third array as c equal to new int and within the bracket you have to specify this length the cl that is the length of the third array cl inside this so i think we are good now we are done with the first step so after this we will be using three for loops the first for loop is for storing all the values or elements from array a to c which is our third array and the second of for loop is for storing all the values from our array b to c and the third for loop is going to be for just displaying the value presence in our array c so now let's first copy all the elements from our array a to c so for that just give some space and it's going to be for int i equal to 0 i less than here we need to specify the length of array a because we are going to just store these elements so it's going to be less than al and it's going to be i plus plus and next line we will be having c of i equal to a of i so this is good for now and next we will be storing all the array elements from array b to c so for that let me just now copy this exact code and paste it over here and here we need to do some modifications the first thing is that it's going to be the length of our array b which is bl so just change this to bl so now let me show you how our array c is all right so it will be like this consider this as array c so it will be now like this it will have the values 1 2 3 4 5 so let me just now copy this yeah this is the current state of our array c so now we need to store next element as the sixth element or the fifth index. So this is, let me just ha also have the index over here. So this is going to be the zeroth index, one, two, three, and four. So our next index is going to be for the sixth element, which is the fifth index, all right? So we need to start from fifth index over here and not from zero. So for doing the fifth index, what we can do is, we can directly specify the length of our array a because this has five elements in it all right this has five elements in total so we need to start from the fifth index so for that what we can do here is that it's going to be al plus i really simple i guess because the value of al is five and we need to start from the fifth index and i's initial value is zero as well so it will be five plus zero which is five so basically it will start from five and during the next iteration because of i plus plus i value will become 1 and 5 plus 1 will be 6 so it will go on 5 6 7 8 9 and when i value reaches 4 this condition will break because 4 less than 5 and after that it will be 5 less than 5 which is false so it will break after that and here we will just change it to b all right because we are storing the contents present in b so this is it for this particular for loop and next for loop let me just also copy this and i will just paste it so it's really a fun program to be honest we can just copying it and just making some modifications 
and here we need to change this length first so it is going to be cl and here we are just going to display all the contents of our array c so we will just have a system dot out remove this all system dot out dot print and let's just have c of i over here i think that's it this is like a really simple simple program it looks a bit of complicated especially in this particular part but if you just sit and analyze it it's going to be like a piece of cake to be honest yeah i think we are done now let me just now run it and i really hope it works i don't want to make any errors yeah java c the file name dot java okay i think i didn't i need to comment this out all right <laughs> i forgot to comment this yeah i will save it now recompile it now i just commented that yeah yeah it is good now no errors that is absolutely fine and let me just now view the output yeah so here you can see i'm just printing the contents of our rac i'm getting 1 2 3 4 5 10 20 30 40 and 50 which directly corresponds to the elements that are present in both the rac a and b and this is how it works and i hope you have found this video useful i've also done many other tutorials in java c c plus plus python node js react js mongodb sql queries as well as linux tutorials as well so do check other videos of my channel subscribe me thanks for watching